is Mary. <laughs> and uh, we're not actually talking about beer tonight. We're talking about pie. Because reasons, right? I mean, it has grain, it has fruit, it has, well, and a lot of other things that don't go into beer. So we're just going to skip that and pretend it fits. Um, these are some pies from where? Yeah. So um, down in Rochester, Washington, there's a there's a little market called. Let me look at the receipt. <laughs> Country Corner Market. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sweet little. Um, the Rochester has a little uh, Mennonite community, and uh, the family owns the store, and they have. Uh, produce, they bring over boxes of produce from Yakima. Um, it's decent priced. And uh, for the holidays and, and, and special events and stuff, they, they send out an email and say, hey, come uh, advertise these pies. And so I decided to splurge and, uh, and do it all in front of you. <laughs> Make you jealous. <laughs> so, or come uh, visit us. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. It's like the tourist guide. <laughs> So, um, and so we, I sent the list to, to the two of them a couple days ago and asked, mm -hmm. Hey, which ones do you want to try? And so we picked the blackberry cream cheese mm -hmm. and that the strawberry. Yes. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> the best one. <laughs> and the strawberry rhubarb. That was our pick. Hey, we Why did would something. Definitely the best Why one. Why would you put celery? The second borns. Come on. Definitely. Yes. Right. Why would you put celery? Well... I mean, strawberry needs something to back it up. Is rhubarb really celery? Uh, kind of, sort of. It's red, red bitter I'm okay celery. with sour and beers, but sour... I don't know. Well, we'll try this out. a lot of sugar so, in it. So, okay. blueberry right. cream cheese. Blueberry cream cheese. Well, wait a minute. Come on. Come on. Okay. You have to... What does it look like? What does it smell like? <laughs> come on. I mean, if Teach you're going to do all of that for Teach the... Me. And she's... She's the cooker... <laughs> person <laughs> I would expect she would have more to say I would expect she would have more to say about this than she would I hear. have probably <laughs> cooked the, the least out of all of you guys in this family since we all had to start making bread at like yeah. 13 or what not true we made enough bricks to build a house <laughs> he did <laughs> what so growing up Gold we had 86. an old wood, Wedgwood stove mm -hmm. it didn't oh, have yeah. a window and so when we made bread, just cool whip. So when we made bread, we had to put the bread in the oven to rise, and then we had to open the door in order to see if it had risen enough. Mm -hmm. And when we opened the door, the temperature, the all the heat escaped. And it wasn't our us and our siblings, you know, rhinoceros heavy feet <laughs> running through the kitchen at the same time, <laughs> causing the, the well, like no vibrations the for making it. <laughs> It's good, 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 good vibrations. <laughs> I'm going to say, it looks really good. Um, yeah. I'm a little disconcerted to see it's Cool Whip on the top rather than whipping cream. But I understand from a, um, from a uh, longevity standpoint, that's probably a better choice. Mm -hmm. yeah. And hey, Cool Whip is still, I mean, at least it, it tastes of good memories. But it's interesting how you have the layer at the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's, I suppose, the cream I cheese. I assume it's cream cheese, but it feels like it's the same consistency as the stuff on the top So it's well. a whipped cream cheese. Yeah. That's cool. Hmm. I like whipped cream right. cheese pie, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Yeah. I do, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it I doesn't think, smell do a whole bake? lot. Do you have to bake? You don't have to bake the whipped cream cheese. Uh, stuff, right? Whipped cream cheese, yeah. no. No, no right. there's no bake. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's pro tip. <laughs> like, it's, it's light. You can actually eat yeah. a whole slice of whipped cream cheese pie, and it's, what, eight ounces of cream cheese and... Um, uh, a pint of whipping cream unsweetened. You, you whip the whipping oh, cream and okay. then you fold the cream cheese in yeah. and then you sweeten that to, to your desired okay. consistency mm -hmm. and you can top it with, you put it in a graham cracker crust or whatever and you top it with whatever fruit you mm -hmm. want and that's mm -hmm. just really amazing. Yeah. And frankly, this pie kind of reminds me a lot of that. Yeah. So what does the crust look like? It's just a... Uh, looks barely baked. Actually, well, it's, it is nice and flaky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Um, but, all right. Yeah. Let's, let's try it. it. Mm. It's best by the big mouthful. I say that with, to the empirical fact of, that's the only way I've had it so far, and it was good. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna try another big mouthful? No, I'm gonna try a small, small mouthful this time. Okay. Let me see the. 
No, it's quite good. <laughs> so, so blackberry <laughs> topping. Go ahead, blueberry. Something blackberry, that blueberry. I don't blackberry. like. Oh, blackberry. Oh. About oh. pies is I I barely ever eat the pie crust uh-huh. on a pie. Mm-hmm. Like I think it's a waste. <laughs> but I would it's have true. to say. Um, I think it's a waste too. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one who can say that here. <laughs> um, I would have to say the pie crust is really good with mm-hmm. everything because it's all soft. Like the mm-hmm. pie crust is yeah. flaky and mm-hmm. soft. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so it's, it's really tender. nice. It's real tender pie crust. And it's not super thick either. I think that's a problem that I yeah. have with a lot of other store-bought crust and stuff. It's, it's just so thick. And it's not mm-hmm. over-sweetened too. I can yeah. taste each it's individual not. layer. The the whipped cream or the, the cream cheese has a really nice um, mellow sweetness to it. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. That's quite nice. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. trying them separate, and the there's no yeah the 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 cream cheese is not over sweetened. No, mm-hmm. yeah. And the blackberry. Nice. No, I was expecting the blackberry to be a little bit more tart. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's it's a nice mellow flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that is. I think that's the one the one downside. It is a it's overall three mellow flavors together. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, if they had zested some lemon into the cream cheese maybe to bring up the city of the cream cheese mm-hmm. or if they worked on the tartness of the blackberry yeah. uh compot mm-hmm. um compote it would be i think it would be a better pie but as it is mm-hmm. it's still it's a very nice pie mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. i get it again yeah. um but would you think if you added lemon to the cream cheese that could overpower the berry compote well enough citric acid to maybe to pull it out but right now the berry almost Kind of hides the cream cheese, yeah, which, which might is nice. be a, a a measure of of um, volume. Frankly, I would mm. probably put thirty percent more cream cheese and leave really? the leave the whipped topping off the top. Mm. I agree with I leaving do. that off the top. I don't mm. think it does anything besides mm. be pretty. It's yeah. good presentation. Yeah, it's great presentation. Mm. Oh, it's yeah. a great pie to pie in the face. Mm. Like yeah, perfect for pie in the face. But then you'd enjoy <laughs> licking it off your face too. Yeah, exactly. Have kids at home who are waiting for this. Oh really? Oh. I didn't know we were leaving. <gasps> Darn it! Leftovers. <laughs> okay. Leftovers it is. <laughs> Change of plans. So, <laughs> so here in Washington, we have several types of blackberries. We have the big blackberries mm. that mm-hmm. grow on the big bushes that are really bushy on the sides of roads. Mm-hmm. Then you have smaller blackberries that grow up in the forest, like on the the clear cuts and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, and a couple years after the clear cuts, these, these vines grow across the ground and these berries are very, these blackberries are very small mm-hmm. and they're very tart. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so you need a lot of sugar to, um, to offset them. But, um, early in our marriage, we used to have to go up there and pick He's my these brother. blackberries. <laughs> He's married to, to, to someone else. Oh, yeah. Golly. Yeah. This is Washington. <laughs> so early so early in my wife and I's marriage, um, my wife would make us go up and pick, well, actually, mother-in-law, too, would make me go up and pick these little tiny Big blackberries. Uh-huh. And it was always hot, lots of flies, mm-hmm. and hard to find these things. They're in their clear cuts. There's and no you shade. pick, yeah. and all the purple... I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I would, mm-hmm. you know, you almost picked the the purple stuff. The juice in there was almost as much blood as it was <laughs> blackberry juice. <laughs> it was they were like sort of blood, sweat, and tears to collect Literally. those things. But the pies were very, very good. Oh yeah, with the tart. Which is why you put celery. I mean rhubarb and <laughs> strawberry pies yeah. because the tartness, right? We've agreed. But strawberry- it's celery. <laughs> <laughs> Which that low bring, carb. <laughs> which brings us to our second pie. Once Ryan finishes up there. You can me this oh, wow. okay. is a strawberry rhubarb pie from the same place. And I'll cut myself a dainty little. Yep. No, it, it doesn't want to be dainty is the problem. It just mooshes out. There, there's a dainty Thank you. piece. Perfect. Happy? Yeah, appreciate it. Good. <clears throat> there's very nice design on the crust. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> Check my Instagram for the pictures of that. 
Um, so I did a little Googling before we did this and asked, <coughs> how did people get the idea of rhubarb in pies? <coughs> so rhubarb came, was supposedly first which came first, utilized and cultivated in China in 2700 BC. Oh, it smells good. And then it was introduced into, by some Italian to Europe in the 1600s. In Germany, and it they was had a beer. Cultivated. Oh, wait, <laughs> rhubarb beer. <laughs> <laughs> And then it was and cultivated for food actually. in the 16, in 1750, and then it was brought over to New England. And then it was brought over to, and it was popular in the Midwest because there's not a lot of fruit there, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Popular yeah, in Canada. The cold. It actually enjoys the cold, which makes it perfect for the Midwest. Yeah. It's fruit for the Midwesterners. Mm -hmm. And in the <laughs> 1950s, supposedly, it was popular in the South. Mm -hmm. So we, it's culturally considered a Southern food now, or oh. to some degree. Hmm. But I don't know. Anyways, it's because southern, southerners like pie. But I don't know. So the real question is, is rhubarb considered a fruit or a vegetable? Vegetable. Oh. Did you say that earlier on? A no, a but I... Fruit. So we were talking about vegetables. Supposedly you kill the plants in order to harvest the food. Which we all agreed wasn't the case. Yeah. But I don't know. What's what's the Webster what is Oxford Google? Dictionary? Yeah. I've had rhubarb, rhubarb okay. pie. Strawberry rhubarb pie. Maybe two other times in my life. Hmm. It's really sweet. It is sweet, um, but it's like a nice strawberry sweet. It's not like mm -hmm. a, we sugared it up. It's like it's that the berries are, themselves are yeah, very sweet. Yeah, because it has a sour sourness that comes with. The strawberry rhubarb pie, I recall, actually had chunks of rhubarb in it. Yeah. That I could tell. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And this, it's been not, maybe it's not quite up. pureed, but it's definitely been blended. Mm -hmm. No, it looks like there's tapioca in here. Really? Does hmm. it look like those? It does. Little marble things. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Good point. But I'm not sure if that's the little pieces of blended up oh, mm -hmm. food. Oh, um, yeah, it might true. be tapioca. True, true. Which is a pretty common thickener. Yeah. Which means they mm -hmm. had a puree. So these might be, oh. you know, preserves that yeah. they made, which would have taken out pretty much any substance from the yeah. vegetable, from, from the <gasps> fruit. You know, the people that I had my first rhubarb pie with and the best rhubarb pie the Rickles. Mm -hmm. When oh, we really? went and visited the Rickles. Um, in Montana? Yeah, in Montana. Oh, okay. uh, we, right. we were doing a whole trip mm -hmm. like through Canada and mm -hmm. yeah. came down after Yellowstone and visited mm -hmm. them. Yeah, it's um, definitely tapioca. Uh, they made a rhubarb pie, uh, strawberry. Mm -hmm. It was so good. I mm -hmm. loved it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember. Was that chunky? Um, it was chunky enough to know it was there, but uh -huh. it was also pureed at the same time. Chunky, okay. chunky enough to look like celery yeah. slices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but baked down enough that it, that, yeah, it came yeah. apart. Yeah. So the strawberry's really good. I'm going to say the, the tapioca <clears throat> is not unpleasant when taken all together. Mm -hmm. If anything, it's a nice little textural yeah. element yeah. that you don't really have to chew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but then That's when you good. start thinking, oh, this is tapioca, it, it feels a little less. Mm -hmm. But that's entirely in my mind. It's not, hmm. I mean, um, this is a very it's tasty a, pie. It's definitely in your mind. It's definitely in my mind. You can do You're all these your pigments of my too. imagination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You can do without yeah. the pie crust on this. It all tastes like chicken. Mm. I disagree. The pie crust adds a saltiness. Maybe the bottom pie crust, but I don't think you need the top. I think it's too much. Well, like, that's that's just your opinion, man. I know. It is. Really? <laughs> I like the crust. Mm. The crust I think, is good. I, I think the crust the, is still good. It's just, the crust is a good balance. I think it, it's just, you it know, adds look to at it. that. <laughs> That's how she always eats her pies. You can tell Mary was here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Of the two, the strawberry rhubarb is definitely um, the one I prefer. Simply because it has more character. I think I actually would go with this one. You would? Mainly just because of the, the crust. Yeah. Um... Mm much crust for you. Well, because I enjoy there's the some, crust on this one. There's some rhubarb in there. That's that's not pureed rhubarb. There you go. Nice. Right. Mm -hmm. But I will probably still, like, if there's a rhubarb pie anywhere well, we're as not an option, it down. Yeah. I will probably always go for it because I'm always on the look for a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Definitely good. I like them. Well, hey, thanks for sponsoring this one. Yep. yep. You're my first sponsor. <laughs> that's right. There you go. Bedford Law Office. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> It's all in the marketing tax write-offs. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, these were pies from... Country Corner Market. Country yeah. Corner Market in Centralia, Washington. Mm -hmm. I know that's a bit Rochester. out of the way for a lot of y'all. Uh, Rochester, Washington. Correction. <laughs> 
never mix the two. The Rochesterians <laughs> will be Ro- Ro- Rochestertonians <laughs> will be very upset. The Centralians will be like, "Where's that?" <laughs> <laughs> yes. The first person I ever insulted in a job interview was from Rochester. I was like, oh, where are you from? He's like, Rochester. I said, Rochester? <laughs> He's like, where are you from? I said, Little Rock. He said, if there's any place worse than Rochester, it's Little Rock. <laughs> Whatever. He lives in Rochester now. <laughs> and on that, <laughs> thanks all for watching, and we'll catch y'all.